Hello, this is Creating Tracks and we're back with episode 6 on how to mix live recordings. So last time I've used the equalizer to get rid of low frequencies on tracks that basically don't need low frequencies, right? And um, we have applied that to the uh, section group, the brass section right here, and to the piano right here. So you can see the low cut there. It's a little, a little bit different, right? To the guitar as well. Again, a little different than the piano low cut. Not to the bass, and the drums have a little low cut, so just just a little bit to get rid of the really, really deep frequencies. And um, then, of course, to the room mics as well. And what I want to show you is that we have no EQ on the tracks themselves. It's basically all on the group tracks except for the guitar. The guitar doesn't have a group, right? So here's the brass section and there is no EQ yet. So what we can do still is uh, use EQ on them separately and they will all be influenced by the uh, low cut on the, um, on the group track right here. Today I wanted to put EQ on every element of the drum kit and the bass as well. But before that let's just listen to the track, how it sounds with um, all the low cuts in place. <laughs> I'm going to jump to the loud part real quick. So that is the mix for now with um, only low cut on every track except for bass guitar and drums, right? And as you can see here that's not entirely true because the drum kit has a low cut on it. And the reason for that is that the bass guitar is recorded um, using a DI box which actually sends the um, signal that the amplifier gives out um, right to the mixing panel via cable. So you don't get room sound at all. Uh, pure low uh, frequencies, very nice to use, and the um, drum kit itself is recorded with microphones, so I want to get rid of the ultra, ultra low frequencies, around 32 hertz, right? So let's start with listening to drums and bass. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna jump to the low part real quick. Okay, so I always start with drums and bass to build the foundation. I have said that earlier, I think, but um, that goes for using effects on the tracks as well. So we're going to start by applying an, the EQ to the snare drum. I'm just going to grab one, put it on the track right here. And going to start by using a low cut because the snare drum doesn't really need that much lows, right? <laughs>
So what I did now is I tried to feature the snare drums characteristics with um, putting a little body right here, boosting the high frequencies and making it sound a little more punchy then. Next up we're going to look at the overheads and I'm going to grab my EQ, put it on the overhead track and I'm um, just going to go for high frequencies I think. We have to keep in mind that the um, toms don't really have microphones themselves so a lot of um, a lot of signal from the toms is coming through to the um, overhead uh, microphones so we don't really want to cut too many lows right i adjusted the eq for um, the overheads real quick this is how it looks very subtle low cut and a lot of high boost have a listen <laughs> So you can hear that the overheads influence how the snare drum sounds um, quite a bit. And you could hear that there was more punch now in the snare drum because of the high boost in the overheads. I'm gonna EQ the kick drum now while the track is playing. For the kick drum now we have a high cut and we have made a cut around 400 hertz, 440, something like that. And that's where the kick sounds like a cart like it comes through a carton box or whatever. And I've boosted the low frequencies a little bit. So I want to let you listen to the uh, song with the EQ drum kit. Yeah, so that's basically a rough EQ session with the drums and what I still have to do and I will do that for next time is add the bass to the foundation. So drums and bass sound really really good and really go together. They add something to the track and then we can go into the other instruments using EQ. It also could be necessary to use compressor but we'll have to see about that. After EQing all the tracks um, I will have a listen and determine if there is some need for compressor or not. The less compressor you use on live mixes the better I think, but that's just a personal opinion. So I hope you could learn something here and I thank you for watching. Goodbye until next time.